The Last of Us is a hot topic these days, so of course here I am making a clicker. I'm gonna start with a foil base and cover that with cos clay to shape the base body. I'm using the medium firm, which I have hated on in previous videos, but I've grown to like it a bit more. For some reason, I made the clicker very muscular and in great shape, so I guess this one just likes to exercise. Clickers are already supposed to be much stronger than regular humans, so a jacked one is exactly what we need. He also gets a mouth and ears. Luckily, those are the only facial features I have to sculpt. The rest of the face gets covered with fungi. If you are not familiar with the game, there is an infection that affects the brain, and after a while it reaches a stage where it develops into fungal growth. The armature was not too sturdy, so I made a little clay base to add it to and baked it. I attached it to the wire and foil inside the sculpture with two-part epoxy glue. Now I have a much sturdier base, and we can get back to sculpting the fungi. If you've been watching for a while, you might notice I've changed my cutting mat again. I moved and sadly couldn't take my trusty mat with me. This is the only one I could find here that is not the ugly green color. <laughs> no offense to the green mat enjoyers out there. I'm using some colored clay to make the mouth. I'm still going to paint it, this just makes it so there are no hard to reach spots that don't get painted later. Then, instead of finishing the mouth, I started making the growths all over his body instead. I added bits of clay and then poked them around into the appropriate mushroom shape that I wanted. I also poked around them to make the skin more damaged, but in the end, I left the skin a bit too nice and smooth. The mouth gets some pre-baked teeth that have been made with translucent clay. And it's in the oven for a final bake. I started with a light skin tone for a base and went over the mushrooms with a more yellow tone and grey highlights. Then I added some darker green and brown under and around them. But just like the skin being too smooth, I also made the color a bit too normal and not zombie-like enough. I guess not only does this clicker exercise, but he also has a great skincare routine. Then I went over everything with a black wash. and brought back some of that grey color and highlight to the mushrooms. According to the lore, the fungal growth glows in the dark, so I thought it would be really fun to try painting it with some glow-in-the-dark paints. I only had three colors, but they worked nicely. A light base coat, then orange around the edges, and I added some purple in the deeper crevices. After breathing in the paints for a while, I have a feeling I will also soon glow in the dark, but hopefully no fungal growths. Then I fixed up the color of the gums a bit and stained the teeth with diluted yellow and brown paint. Seems the only routine he doesn't have down is the dental one. But it's understandable, kinda hard to do with no arms. Lastly, I added blood around his mouth and chest.
the little base square gets painted black. I'm pretending to be fancy and using a felt sticker to make the bottom nicer, like a real sculpture. I scraped off a bit of paint, but that can be easily fixed. Now the last thing to make is the shirt, or what's left of it, on his back. For this, I'm going to sacrifice a shirt of my own that I don't like, and give him a cozy blanket. Actually, I cut out little bits of fabric and messed them up, then glued them on the sculpture with white glue. I was planning to make the shirt out of clay, but I didn't really want to bake the glow-in-the-dark paint. And also using fabric to make fabric seems like a better solution. The shirt also gets blood on it. And I went over it with different colors to make it more dirty and used. And that's it. Thank you to my newest patron, Enrico Thiemann, and also all the other lovely people who support me over there. I have something exciting planned for my next project, but until then, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!